and then there was a man that built a house on a bad foundation. And and I was I think I was that guy. No, I know I was that guy. I built my house, this house, in my way. It's gotta be my way or the highway. Okay. So if you can identify with that, well pray for me and I'll pray for you, okay? But you're saying, what are you talking about? It's exactly what I'm talking about. Houses being built, being remodeled, all for the money. But there's nothing wrong with that. I would love to give my wife the house that I had envisioned back in the 70s or 80s. It was going to have round corners, uh, uh, adobe style like in New Mexico. Oh, I love those houses. But, you know, I thank God that God's got a house for me. Man. Man. He's got a place for me. He's Man. got a place for you. Amen. But in this house here that we have here, we have to do a lot of demolition. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's the worst thing you can do. I went to, I was in prison there as a teacher. Did you hear that? I was in prison as a teacher at one time. And I spent actually 13 years. The number 13. I have to wonder a lot of things. But anyway, I, I went into the, the office of the chaplain and he had a book there called self-confrontation when i looked at it it jumped out at me and slapped me right in the face i go oh that's for me i need that what happened here so come to find out that the hardest thing for anybody is to do is to have a self-confrontation yeah. amen i remember amen. preaching that at, at one time and and it, one of the sisters asked me sister brother i don't understand what you're saying I said, I don't understand what you mean for self confrontation So I tried to explain it and, it, and I made it so simple. I watered it down and kind of got it a little bit. But we, the gospel is, is, is in the simplicity. Wherever Jesus was, wherever Jesus went, there was noise going on. Man. He entered in Capernaum one day and some days, and it was noised. Yes. It was, hey, Jesus is here. You, you, you gotta hear him. You gotta go to that place. He's, there's gonna be fellowship. Right. Wow. Okay. There's gonna be fellowship. Well, I have a problem with that. It's hard for me to fellowship. Mm-hmm. I confess to you. But when when I want to go, oh, I get into the spirit. I'm the crazy guy. Okay. Okay. And uh, to have fellowship. Now, when this happened, many went straight away. They didn't go to Circle K. They didn't go to buy a hot dog or something. They, went, they wanted to go see Jesus yeah. because they heard and they knew because the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing Man. and hearing of the word of God. And when they heard yeah. about Jesus, even they, though they got yeah. it by second hand, they received faith because yeah. they knew that somebody had been healed over there. Somebody had been raised from the dead. Man. Somebody, was, somebody had been changed. Somebody yeah. was a new person. Man. And they all had to go to this house. It was a meeting place. It was a place of fellowship, if you yes. will. Okay, yes. is that okay? Okay, yes. fellowship. And there was, but basically, what happened? There was no room. There, <laughs> there was no bouncer there, so he couldn't get him out of there. There was no self styled deacon, so you could not get out of here, or we, we we can't have you here. You know, mm-hmm. I, I might have done that. I might have run him out. Says you come back, or here's a ticket, or. Or go to that place where then we'll put you by a microphone or something. But anyway, there was no room. But this is these four guys, talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay. The four gospels. Yes. There were four guys. And I'm also going to call them Mark. Matt, I'm going to call them Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And they had a family member who had the palsy. The palsy is you know you're shaking, I got you can't move. You have palsy. Yeah. So you can these guys had a family member. Right. And and they said, well, we're going to take this guy so he can get healed. Because we, we know if we take him, so there are two guys got in the front, two guys got in the back, they put him in the middle, and then they born him. Yes. You know, I'm not a very good reader, but this is what I thought the first time I read it. Okay. I thought, well, this, this scripture doesn't make any sense. How could he, how could he born them? That's how much we pay attention to the scripture. We gotta search the scriptures. Saint John five thirty nine, for they are which testify of me. Yeah. And that's what we have to do. We have to read, search the scripture, which is it's not just gonna come unto us. Okay. Right. But 
with all that demolition going on and, and in, the, in the nation today, in our lives, we, I know we're doing a demolition right now. Now I'm going to ask you a personal question. You can raise your hand or you can, you can uh, do whatever you want. But I am doing demolition right now on my own body. My. Okay. We should be doing some kind of demolition. Man. We should be maybe taking the kitchen sink and throwing it out. <laughs> or maybe some of the walls. You know, yes. a wall is a partition yes. Yes. to keep you out. I was preaching yes. in San Jose one time and one of the sisters got it. She says, brother, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. But she, she got it a different way because I was talking about demolition, about the walls. You know, we build walls and you can't come over. Nah. <laughs> well, I'm going over or yeah. under, but nah. I'm going over. And this is what happened. This is what we have here today. Nah. And straightway many came together. And so there was no room at all. Nah. They couldn't get in. They couldn't come in even at the door. But Jesus was already in there. He was already preaching. But we have a problem. You know what that problem is? Anytime Jesus goes, wherever he's at, Satan is there too. Yeah. Matter of fact, he's the first guy, not before Jesus, but he's the first guy there in the pews. And he's waiting as a spirit, you know, waiting to jump on us. Yeah. Yes, sir. To see, to come with a thought. A good, not a good thought. Yes, time. that's right. And then he's, he's impeding things. But that's his job. Yeah. So I, 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 I've I learned to say, oh, boy, that's happened. Okay, just forget about it. And leave him alone. That's his job. Poor guy, you know. Anyway, can we go to the next slide? There was no room there at all. And they come. These are the four guys that we're talking about. They were carried in four guys, one in each corner. And they had the basis, and they had this guy. They had this family member because they loved him. As I've said before, love is a strong affection for another, by definition. Man. And it arises out of kinship or personal ties. Yeah. There's many definitions to love. But what I'm talking about this definition, they loved this guy and their family members, so they took him. And there they were. And yeah. they couldn't get inside the door. They, didn't, they couldn't get inside the windows also. There was cupboard. There was no room in there. And then the Pharisees were in there already. The yeah. scholars were there. They tried to see where they can get him. Because they couldn't get him. They could not get, find any fault in Jesus because he was always doing miracles. He was always doing good. But they wanted to man. still find fault in him. Man, I don't get that at all. But anyway, that's 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 what was going on. So these guys, they come and they and there was a press going on. They couldn't get in. They, they tried, they tried, they couldn't get in. Man. And there was no way they could get in. I mean, four guys and with a and with a guy up here on their shoulders. And they're, they're trying to get in, no room at the door, no room at the window, and there was no tunnel they could come in. Yeah. So maybe if they had a, a pick and shovel, maybe like Brother Alex would get a pick and he, he tunnel under. He would do something to get in there. But this is what they did. These guys were demolition guys. They didn't care what they had to do. They were specialists. Man. That's what they do. They tore down the covering. And they, yes. tore, they tore down the roof. And the roof is a covering of a house. Now, I'm talking about my roof. My roof right now is leaking. Uh, not, by, not by design, but, but that's what's, it's what's going on. When the rain comes, <laughs> I patched that place already a couple of times, but I'm working on somebody else's house. <laughs> and my roof, not my roof, my ceiling is falling in. Okay. I hope you catch that. You can laugh at that. Have a good time with that. Okay. And not only that, as a general licensed contractor in Arizona. God bless you all. And when, I've got nothing to hide. Okay. And when they come nigh unto him for the press, when they came to Jesus, because they couldn't get to, they could not come. They went out, out yes. into the roof. This is the roof right there. Yes. Where he was. Yes. Okay. And when we had broken up, they broke it up. I mean, these guys were crazy. Yes. But this, they were not only crazy, they were enthused. Because they had knew that Jesus was going to heal the, their their. The brother that had the palsy, yeah. and they wanted him to do it, so they were. Too, they did anything, even if they had to pay for the repairs. Did you hear right. what I said? Yeah. Okay, got it. you got it. And after they broke it down, this is what they did. They let it down. They had some ropes. They let them down. Matthew was over here. Mark was over here. Luke and John. They let down the guy, 
and and they and Jesus inside the living room looking out, but he says, he looks up, he goes, wow, he saw their faith. Now wow. faith has got action. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Faith doesn't sleep. Yeah. Faith has got works. Now that's what I like. Now you don't talk to me about Jesus. Don't talk to me about the word, but put it into action, right, Brother Ernie? Yeah. And, and that's the hardest thing to do is to put it into action. Yeah. So a lot of times I end up slapping myself because I got all this faith and how to put it into action. But God wants us to put it into action. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus sees our faith. Yes. He sees yes. mom, what mom is currently doing. Yes. Missionary outreach ministries. It doesn't matter what the devil says. Yes. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Man. But we are trying to do something. We all have to do something for the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Clap their hands, say, Amen. Don't talk Amen. to your neighbors, whatever it is, we have to do something for him. Okay. When Jesus saw their faith, he says, he looked at him and he says, Son, your sins are forgiven. He didn't heal right then and there. He healed the soul, first of all. Man. Did you get that? Amen. He healed the soul first. Yes. And then the, the, the scribes, the Pharisees there, or all the, the religious guys over there, who is this guy? Man, he's forgiven. What is this guy? Certain of the scribes, go back, sister. Go back to the other one. Okay. Certain of the scribes. Paragraph 42, you can't do that. <laughs> but he said this over here. Oh, Jesus was well, in the Old Testament. He did this. My. Now Moses lifted up the brass serpent. And you, you, you can't do that here. What were you talking about? You just forgive sins. Why? The guy's sick. Heal him. Don't tell him about forgiveness of sins. This My. is what's going on. And, and, then, and, they, had re and they were reasoning. My. But reasoning is against faith. Yes. Yes. But they had no faith because they haven't heard about Jesus. Or they refused yes, yes. Jesus' testimony. Yes. And, how he lived. and that's what they had in their hearts. They had not been born again. Ah, yes. Next one, sister. It's a real short story, okay? <laughs> well, can you imagine what they said? Man. Why does this man speak man. blasphemy? He's yes. cussing. My. He's cussing against Moses. Man. Against all the, the, the prophets of old. Why is he doing that? What's, what is this Jesus? He's a freak. <laughs> Jesus is a freak. He's crazy. My. What's going on with this guy? And then immediately Jesus perceived in his mind. He read them. Yeah. They reasoned with themselves. Why do, you, why do you think these things? Why? Yeah. Amen. I'm going to pause right there, okay? Building a house. Demolition of a house. Our houses. Okay. You have a spiritual house. You have an exterior house. Yes. You have an exterior house. You have to take care of it. Yes. You have an interior house. Yes. That interior house has a soul. It's got a spirit. It's, that's what's inside of you. Yes. But we have taken the route back like it, we talked. We've been talking about Shamgar, by the way. If you like to read Shamgar, go back to the seventh book in the Old Testament. The seventh book in the Old Testament, which is Judges. There, in Judges, in the chapter 3, Verse 31. You can read it there. And follow up. And they follow, and this is what they did. They did things because there was no king. There was no King Jesus there. Yes. There was no kingdom there. But there was no king. And every man did what was right in his own sight. Yeah. Yeah. They, they did right, they did what they, was right in their own sight. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay. Did you did you understand what I just said? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But so this is what they're doing also. The same thing. History repeats itself. Yes. It's there's nothing new under the sun. Yes. And they reason in themselves. Well, what's what's in this guy? Thank you, sister. Keep going. Okay, the next one. Okay. As as they were building, the spirit that got a hold of these guys, and the spirit that's pervasive now, that is right now in this whole nation, and in us, if we don't watch out, is we do we do a DIY. My. Do it yourself. Right. And that's not the way God wants it. He wants he, to be your friend. Right. He wants to be with you. He wants to walk with your hand. And he wants to put your hand in the hand of the man yes. who steals the waters. Yes. yes, put your hand in the hand 
of the man who stilled the waters. Man. Just put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Yes. Yes. We need to put our hand in the hand of the man and walk with him and let him yes. be our friend. Yes. And our friend is the word of God. God in letter form. God in the spirit and God is with us and he's here right now. And he's telling yes. us that he wants to walk with us. Don't do it yourself. I've already done it. Yes. I did it on Calvary. Amen. I was the one who paid the price. Yes. God gave me as his only begotten son. Yes. Now Jesus, God had a created son. His first created son was Adam. Yes. And then the next son that came along was Jesus Christ. His only begotten son. Yes. And I was telling the brother this morning, I said, I can see God taking Adam there by the hand. And he's walking him. Yes, Brother Stephen, when you come here with me, I have to I have to dramatize this because people do not get it. They do not get it. I'm telling you, they don't get it. Because if I don't get it, you don't get it, nobody gets it. But Jesus, when God was there in there in Genesis 2:15, he took Adam, the guy he created, his first created son, and he took him by the hand. And guess where he was taking him? To Calvary? No. He was taking him. And he was going to place him in the Garden of Eden. And he told him, I want you to keep it. That's your place. The Garden of Eden. Thank you, brother. And he hedged it. He made a safety wall there. He hedged it with small trees. So nobody could come and look what's going on in the inside of the garden. <laughs> he surrounded it. Yes. With walls, with his word. It says, yes. don't touch this. Yeah. Don't take this. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Taking you back to Genesis and we'll get back to our, our, our crazy guys breaking that roof, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. So this is what happened. How many of you, if you if you read your Bible, Genesis 3, where, where God told us, did you eat of the fruit? Did you? Why did you do that? Yeah. I told you not to touch it. How many of you guys have touched an apple and died or gotten sick? Your brother's still? No. no. Can you imagine me dying with an apple, touching the apple, biting the apple, and then go, go get naked? Yeah. That is crazy. My. Right. Read the book. Amen. Now here's our brother here, Brother Ernie, will answer all your questions there on, on what happened there in Genesis. Because sometimes we just don't read. We don't understand. We run too fast. But this DIY is a spirit that is prevalent. Yeah. And it, we're just doing things what we want to do because it's okay. You know, I'm not smoking and drinking like Brother Alex should say. Well, I'm not doing this. And then there are in their own pipe, their own conduit. Right. Yeah. Now, a pipe has three things. There's three, you know, three things for a, a pipe. As a plumber that I learned to be a plumber, you know, has three basic things. It's for drain, it's for waste and vent. You gotta have those three things. You gotta have a little bit of air, atmospheric pressure. Yeah. And it cannot be too big and not too small because if it's too big, there's no scouring action yeah. that'll siphon it out, yeah. that garbage. And we need to go to church to hear the word so it can scour us out. Yes. And we have to be fitted to God's word. Yes. And I'm amazed how much that number three comes into action. Yeah. They're even in plumbing. Okay. But here it is. And Jesus talks to them and he says, Is it easier? Is it easier to seek the sick, the palsy? Why? The sins the sins be forgiven thee? Or to say, Rise Man. and take up thy bed and walk. Yes. You ask him the question. But there's unbelievers that God does not clown around. Jesus doesn't need that clown around. Yeah. But he knew what he was doing. But that ye may know that the Son of Man, which is the prophet, he came as a prophet. Yeah. He came as a Son of Man. Yes. He came as the Son of God. Yes. And as a Son of God, he died on Calvary for you and me because God gave his only begotten Son there on Calvary. And yeah. it hurt him. Yes. It hurt him. But he loved us so much. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Amen. that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have Amen. everlasting life. Amen. And that's what we're, 
banking on. That's what we're pointing on. Believe Jesus Christ. Believe his commandments. Hear his word. Get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And you shall receive yes. the Holy Ghost. Because that's his Amen. promise. And God does not break his promise. Yes. Amen. And he told them. Do you know the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins? He says to the sick of the palsy. He's talking to now to the sick of the palsy. The, ne the next is slide, sister. As I'm starting to close. I say unto thee, arise. Amen. He's lying down, arise. Yes. And take up thy bed. Amen. Now, I like this. Yes. Because I see a lot of things. Amen. I hope you see them. Now, we have a bed. Yes. And, 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 and either I'm sitting there in my bed watching gun smoke. <laughs> Or the Lone Ranger. God tells me. Take up thy bed. Get up out of there. And go into thy house. Go into thy house. Go into the inner veil. Go into the inside of your house. Where you really live. Stop feeding that black dog. Stop feeding that black ugly devil. And immediately. This man that had the palsy, he rose up. He took up the bed. He obeyed him. Yes. He took up his bed. Now, he didn't go and take somebody else's bed. He took his own bed. Yes. Okay. This is where we make mistakes. Okay. And he went forth before all of them. Yes. And so much that they were all amazed. Yes. They, were, they were amazed and they couldn't help but say it and glorify God. saying, we never saw it in such a fashion. My. Yes. This DIY spirit, there's nothing wrong with it. And one of the things I've learned as a licensed contractor, you cannot please everybody. I've gone to the places where I've, I've had to write a check and I put there a notes. Now, you, you can, it's under a notes for conditional insurance. <clears throat> Repair. hundred dollars. People want a hundred dollars. So well, you didn't do it the way I wanted to do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't. I didn't realize that you wanted it that way. I'll tell you what. I'll lock up a hundred dollars. You will. Write them a check. Give it to them, and they're happy, brother. They're so happy because they they put one over you on you. But that's okay. That happens. It's part of the business. So anyway, with all those things, as a licensed contractor. I run into many unlicensed contractors. Yes. <laughs> wow. And that's the devil. He has no license over you. Right. He's there no authority over you. Man. You are licensed by a new birth. Right. You've been born again of the Spirit of God, and you are a son and daughter of God. He's made many promises. And he's got it there. All you got to do is take it up and not do it yourself, but get, get the craftsman to do it for you. Yeah. He'll do it. Yeah. He'll craft you up and he'll make it. Amen. Now, watch out for that crafty guy. Okay? Yeah. The crafty is that devil, you know. Amen. But a real craftsman, he works. He does it right. So you got to watch out. Would you stand for me? Yeah. Wasn't that simple? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. DIY. Do it yourself. But we have to start ourselves. We have to start our own demolition. Cannot hire another guy. You know, as God opens it up, it might be so simple, but I hope it helps you, okay? If we, if we don't start doing our demolition, our sisters and brothers are moving now. They're currently moving from house to house. And that's one of the hardest things to do, is to move. Because you find up a lot of things, you find a lot of things that you just don't want to move. You can't get rid of them, and what do you do with them? Right. And even my tools, I got tools that I, I don't know what to do with them sometimes. Right. So I, I, I got to clean them, I got to do WD-40, and I got to put them over here. I can't carry them. Shoulders are not able to carry like they used to, so I have to do modifications. Mm -hmm. So I have to learn how to adjust. And that's the way life is. So we, we thank God. That, that he is good. Just recall that Jesus Christ is a healer and our Savior, and he's provided a way. 
but he wants us to act. He wants us to get into action. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus. If there is anyone that heard this morning that understood, or this afternoon that has understood just a little bit that he wants to see us in action. No matter what it takes to go to the nearby church to hear the gospel, to hear about those four guys, to hear about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and to hear and to hear about Jesus and to learn about Jesus and to walk with Jesus and have Jesus touch our lives and change us, not by our own dictate, but by, by the Holy Ghost, by hearing the word of God. Lord, help them, Lord Jesus. Help them to understand that Jesus loves them and when he died on the cross. He had each and every one of us in his mind. Now he really loves us. It's not like that song says, you were on my mind. But God had us in our mind and he really loved us. And that's, he loved us like in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Your only son, Lord Jesus, your only begotten son, you gave him, Lord, to suffer on the cross, the shameful cross, Lord Jesus. And, the, and yet we turn our, our backs on him. Perhaps it's because we don't understand that we're trying to do it ourselves. But Lord, we ask you that tonight somebody out there would understand yeah. that it's not what we do or what we don't do, but we should not do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Ask Jesus to come. Jeremiah 33 says, Lord, call unto me and I will answer thee. That's all you have to do, my friend. Call unto me. One day here in Phoenix, Arizona, back in 1981, I had lost so many things I didn't know what to do. But I turned around, I said, Lord, I, I, I'm tired, I don't know. And he came into my life, gave me the new birth by the Holy Spirit, changed my life, changed my spirit, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah. And I have not been the same since then. Yeah. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power to save one. We thank you tonight, and in Jesus' name we pray. Help us out there. Amen. God bless you. <clears throat> Can we give the, the Lord a clap offering? Amen. Amen. I know we're saying the song, but can we try this in C? C now? Hosanna. Amen. Let's magnify once again. Magnify the Lord with me. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Be 
Great. 